Tonight I will take you to Emilia Romana. In these tough and depressing pandemic times, when we are only allowed to leave our houses if we are out of toilet paper, the best alternative to travel without abandoning your fortress is wine. So sit back, relax and join me on 20 Italian wine regions with Corebreaker. Let's go! So Veneto, the first region I went through, for me was well known both from tourist and wine side. But Emilia Romana associates me more with cars, cheese, restaurants and beaches. So I am very excited to dig a bit deeper in this area. The region spans almost the entire width of the northern Italian peninsula. In the north it is neighboring with Lombardy and Veneto, Tuscany to the south, Adriatic Sea to the east and a tiny part of Liguria separates it from the Ligurian Sea. It is one of the oldest wine regions of the world, dating back to the 7th century before Christ. Both regions are very different and locals would never introduce themselves that they are from United Emilia Romana region. The Emilia region by the Apennine peaks and forests was settled by barbarians who had a fat diet with butter and pork. I like a pig. I like a pig a lot. <laughs> and needed uh, something to cleanse their palates. And worldwide famous sparkling Lambrusco worked just perfectly for that. That's why this sweeter frizzante and spumante dominates this part of the region. And the Romana being warmer and closer to the sea was settled by Romans who used lots of olive oil. And a tiny bit of olive oil which is very Italian to have with lentil soup. In their diet and for that they needed more sophisticated still wines. Most famous of these are White Albana wines and Red Sangiovese. After this trip from hilly west down to the east coast through the historical Via Emilia road, let's see what else the region has to offer. So number one spot for me is Osteria Francescana in Modena. Back in the student days I lived in uh, Copenhagen and the restaurant Noma was repeatedly awarded as the best restaurant in the world. And instead of having lunch there, I preferred the uh, frozen pizza. No, it's not right to do pizza like that. I never give this kind of piece of pizza to anyone, even my dog. So to redeem myself, I would at least try to get a table in this restaurant led by maestro of modern Italian cuisine, Massimo Bottura. Second spot is also in Modena and it is the Enzo Ferrari Museum. This region is the birthplace of such masterpieces as Ferrari, Lamborghini and Ducati. And even though I am uh, not crazy about cars, I like museums and secretly I always dreamed of owning a red Ferrari. Ah, she's gorgeous. It's not a car. It's a masterpiece. Ah, maybe in 30 years. And the last stop would be Rimini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss so many other nice spots, but I am curious guy. And Rimini is the number one vacation destination for most Italians. So naturally I would need to see what is so special about that seaside town, apart from 15 km beach. So the wine which will represent the region is... Vitalba 2019 by Tremonti Winery. Winery was established in 1974 by Sergio Nacaccia and his wife Thea. After 15 years their sons David and Vittorio decided that winemaking will be the work of their lives. 54 hectares organic winery is divided between 26 hectare Imola and 28 hectares Petrignone south facing clay based estates. Even though they mainly make traditional wines from Sangiovese and Albana grapes, they always loved to experiment and were the first ones in the region planting Chardonnay and Sauvignon grapes in 1985. This wine comes from Albana di Romana di OCG and is fermented in 470 liter Georgian amphora for 95 days. In 2019 there were only made 4000 bottles. Let's taste it. It has a uh, intense amber color on the nose, medium plus intensity, sweet aromas of pineapple, white apple, lychee, pomelo, beeswax and white flowers. Mouth has medium acidity, medium plus alcohol, bone dry. On the palate, 
mix of citric fruit and bitterness of their skins. So for the conclusion, some of you probably expected that I will choose Lambrusco to represent the region, but even though I heard that there are some wonderful Lambruscos, I am still a bit skeptical about that wine. And this wine, even though it is experimental, it still comes from one of two regions DOCGs, and in my opinion it represents the historical aspect of the region perfectly. Like always, if you like the video, push the like button, comment which wine in your opinion represents this region and don't forget to subscribe. Salute!